Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a landing page for affiliate marketing. A landing page is a page that you create to showcase a product or service that you are trying to sell. It is where you attract your visitors and convince them to take action, such as clicking your affiliate link or joining your email list. A landing page is one of the most essential tools for affiliate marketers, as it will boost your conversions and commissions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use system.io to create your first landing page. So to get started, we're going to go to system.io. That's going to bring you to the homepage. And here it's showing you a bunch of the features that they offer. Like managing your affiliates, creating online courses, automating your marketing. But let's just scroll back up to the top and we're going to take a look at the pricing. So they have four different packages. They have the free package, the startup package, which is $27 a month, the webinar package, which is $47 a month, and the unlimited package, which is $97 a month. And each of these packages just has different features or different limits. For example, on the contacts, you can have 2000 in the free account or up to unlimited on the unlimited account. And you can also choose whether to bill monthly or annually. And you do save a little bit on the annual billing. But for today, we're going to start with the free package. I'm just going to come over here and click start for free. And we're going to sign up with our email address. You'll then have to go back to your emails and confirm your email address. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to create a password and here you'll be brought to your dashboard. And if we hover over dashboard, we can see we have a main dashboard. We also have an affiliate dashboard that will have all your affiliate information and you've got a marketplace dashboard. But we want to go up to the top and we want to go to funnels. So we're going to click on funnels and then in the top right hand corner, we're going to click on create. And here we're going to start by naming the funnel. And then we want to choose whether we're going to build an audience, sell a product, create a custom funnel or run an evergreen webinar. We want to build an audience and then we're going to select the currency and then click save. And you can see your first funnel has been created. To start building this, we're going to click on the name over here. And it's going to bring us to lots of templates that we can use to start building our landing page. So let's take a look through the templates and find one that looks good. So I like this one over here. So I'm just going to click select and here you can rename it and you can customize the URL path if you want to. And then over on the right hand side, you can view the funnel step, edit the page or change the page template. We're just going to go to edit page. And here we can start making some changes. This is a really easy to use drag and drop builder. And this page already looks pretty good and really easy to customize. It would just be a case of changing this photo here to a picture of the product that you are selling. To do that, you would click on it. And then over on the left hand side, you can either select a file from your computer or you can paste a URL in here. Once you've changed the image, you'll want to change all of the text over here. So you might change it from a new post to a new product. You could then change this text over here. And on the left hand side, once you've selected the text, you can change the font size. You can change the line height. You can change the font itself and you can also change the color. And if, for example, you didn't want all of this text here, you could just hover over it and then click on the trash can icon and click delete. You've got your sign up button here. And over on the left hand side, we can change the action that happens when the button is clicked. So at the moment it shows a pop up, but you could change it to a submit form. You could open a URL, download a file. And then if we scroll down, down here, you'd want to add some more information about the product to really try and sell it. So over here, you could pop in a review. You could add some features over here. And then down at the bottom here, we've got your sign up form. And again, really easy to customize this in the form here. You've got three input fields, but you don't need to have them all. So if you wanted to get rid of last name, for example, just the same as before, hover over it and then click the trash can icon. And if you wanted to change this from first name to something else up in the top left hand corner, you've got input type. So you can just change that. You could add city company name, whatever you think is most relevant. And you can also change the placeholder text. And again, some more customization options with the colors so you can really get it to match your brand. So this is looking pretty good, but if you wanted to add anything else, for example, if you had a video review of the product, we've got the option of video over on the left hand side. And it's just a case of clicking and dragging it into the spot where you want it. Just like that. Click on the video that you've just popped in 
and change the URL on the left hand side over here. And as you can see, there are loads and loads of different elements that you can add to your page in order to customize it even further. If we come down to the very bottom here, you can see you've got a computer screen icon and then you've got a mobile phone icon. If we click that, it's just going to show you what your website is going to look like on a mobile. So that's really handy to keep that in mind to make sure it's visible and usable across all platforms. And in the top right hand corner as well, you can preview it. So this is what your page is going to look like to whoever is visiting it. In the top left hand corner, you've got some overall settings. So you can change the font types of the page, the color links, the text colors, heading typography, language, background colors, all sorts of different things. You can also add your search engine optimization. So that's really important as well. Make sure to pop in all of your keywords that you want to be found for. And next to settings, you've got pop-ups. So you can add in some pop-ups. When we looked at this button here at the beginning, one of the options was when that button is clicked, a pop-up appears. So you can come in here and edit your pop-up. You got lots of different options to choose from to customize that. I wouldn't necessarily use a pop-up. I don't think it's necessary on such a simple page. So I'm just going to come in here and delete them. But once we're happy with our page, we're going to go into the top right hand corner and click save changes. And then we can head back to the dashboard. And that's it really. Your landing page is set up so we can copy that and take a look at it in a new tab. And there we go. It's working perfectly. And any visitors to your site can enter the pop up and sign up. But obviously we need that to actually do something. So we're going to come over to automation rules and we're going to add a rule. And we're going to select funnel step form subscribed. And then we're going to click on that. And we're going to add an action and we're going to select subscribe to campaign. So whenever somebody fills in that form, we're going to subscribe them to a campaign. And I've already got one set up here called offer, which I'm going to select and click save rule. In order to set up a campaign, you're going to come to emails and go to campaign here and create a new one. That's really quick and easy to do. But just quickly heading back to our funnel, you also want to add in a thank you page so that once they have subscribed, it just sends them to a thank you page. And you could, you know, try and sell even more on that thank you page if you wanted to. But obviously, just the same as before, there's a ton of templates to choose from. And it is exactly the same as the landing page in terms of customizing it. So that should be really easy for you to do. And there you have it. I've just shown you how to make a landing page for your affiliate marketing. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.